Now, it's early December in uh, East Central London, which means it's the, the night is closing in outside. It's getting cold, but it's very warm in here. So uh, the warmth is not just the temperature, but it's also going to be uh, the atmosphere for the next two hours as we complete the conference. Um, yesterday, when David Willits was here, I think he mentioned that there are two Greg Clarks in the UK involved in urban policy. Um, one of them is the Financial Secretary to the Treasury, the Minister for Cities, an incredibly popular uh, MP. He's also handsome, smart, and has a huge fan club. And, and the other one is me. And uh, no more really needs to be said, except for the fact that if you were expecting him, I'm sorry, but I'm delighted <laughs> to be here. Um, we're going to be talking about transforming urban governance during the next 30 minutes. And the format for this is going to be 10 brilliantly crisp, wonderfully insightful uh, minutes each from three people. Uh, and they are going to provoke us to thinking about um, urban governance and how urban governance relates to transformation. Then I will be introducing to you a stellar panel of former mayors, serving deputy mayors, and um, people who have made a rather unique contribution to city and urban leadership around the world. So without further ado, our first speaker this afternoon is somebody you already know very well, the Executive Director of LSE Cities and the Urban Age, Philip Rowe.